Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mal here. Nice sunny weather, pretty windy today. A little hot, not much, 35 degrees. And I am going to fly the MGX MEW 4-1, this quadcopter. I flew it a little bit yesterday for testing and honestly speaking, this is absolutely a fantastic flyer. Videos and pictures, mm, we're gonna leave that decision to you if you think the camera the videos and the pictures are really good or not but flight performance trust me this is an absolute joy to fly and have fun with let's test its uh, features very very quick because the battery is giving me mostly 12 minutes flight time so so i'll be testing all the features of this quadcopter very very quick starting with the flight performance auto return to home which we will test in the end of uh, auto follow me and point of interest and then of course if time remains on the battery we'll shoot some aerial films all right so let's start the radio and quadcopter radio has the LCD has a lot of brightness so even in this on this bright sunny day afternoon sunny afternoon I can see it very very clearly anyway, it will not unlock the motors unless you perform the compass calibration every time you have to come uh, perform the compass calibration because once you turn the quadcopter on the light is blinking well I will start rotating it light is blinking green I will start rotating it and light is solid so compass calibration is done and now I believe I can connect to the yes to the drone so yes it's strange that only after compass calibration you can actually connect to the quadcopter go okay click 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 action gyro status barometer status compass status gps all okay flight data i don't have any right now so i just removed the restrictions we're gonna fly it now i have full quadcopter battery and i have full radio battery and uh do remember it's really pretty windy for a quadcopter like this unlock take off we are in GPS mode you can see how the quadcopter is tilted and how solid is the GPS lock man I mean really look how it's fighting so today the videos are not gonna be very stable but this is a very good day to demonstrate how solid the lock the GPS lock is so I'm gonna bring it slightly downwards and we will disengage and I will disengage the GPS there you go and see optical and sonar you know sensors doing their job is still I will say that is some nice altitude and I mean altitude will change because the wind is you know pushing the pressure but it's still a very very nice hold right here position hold now I'm gonna fly it around in uh, low speed mode okay look at this man look at the flight performance of this thing it's really absolutely a joy to fly I flew it yesterday very responsive very nice very good feel to fly it you won't feel you're flying an MGX you'll feel like you're flying a high-end DJI quadcopter trust me on this one so high speed now look the speed changed so look at it the angle of attack the speed has changed and you can have much more fun with the quadcopter so that was the flight performance I'm gonna put it in GPS position hold okay I'm gonna go in the middle and set the camera down to me start to orbit and you can see it's orbiting itself losing altitude slightly will it hit my car but no it's still good altitude kind of a little bit lost me from the point of interest but I can shamelessly move in <laughs> it has to do something with the wind as it's the quadcopter still fighting with the wind but it's losing the altitude as well now definitely it's gonna hit the car no no it got the altitude back so it has something to do with the uh, you know 
barometer pressure changing but overall it's a very nice panorama or you know point of interest so now I'm gonna do it one more time from this altitude and this angle okay it's shooting the video as well as you can see hey come on in the middle let's form something <laughs> look at this a beautiful point of interest man it loses a bit because I told you it's a lot of wind today and it's affecting the circle when it's going here see it's fighting with the wind but overall it's doing a very very good job all right time to test the follow me feature okay here I go hi hi it will come now it's coming right so I am on RS3 from Tian Run. it's a very good little scooter Arish loves it Arish actually uses it all the time maximum speed 20 km you can see this scooter I'm on and basically it's an amazing nice scooter man very stable very nice and basically perfect fit for the kids now you can see how the quadcopter is coming so now I will make a turn and see what happens what is it will do I'm going towards the quadcopter and it's flying backward this is awesome man it is awesome I yeah I'm still in my in the view this is nice and now it will turn around it should turn around now let's see yes it's, it turned around and it's coming man I mean I have double awesome now <laughs> awesome man this is nice the follow me is basically very nice I have on with my scooter. yes there you go that's your scooter so basically it did a very good job with the follow me now I will test the auto return to home against the wind okay and then we will shoot some videos if we have enough battery so ba 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 here yes and it's getting up all right it went up oh, under the sun <laughs> okay come on drink some water get some water come on and the quadcopter is right above my head before I could walk to the car it actually already arrived and now it should descend the thing is you can control the quadcopter if it is landing at the wrong place you can control and that's the nicest feature I love about these kind of quadcopters or any quadcopter that gives you controllability during auto return to home so if it is landing at the wrong place you can control and move it away quadcopters that do not give you this facility man they take all the controls away from you when you activate RTH and I hate that go to tap fly oh okay so tap fly works on a map and map is not available at the moment okay so I cannot test tap fly people because Google is disabled in China and there's no Google map I'll try to download the map next time and see how it goes uh, maybe from the cache it can read the map and we can test the tap fly but apart from that point of interest auto return to home and oh man follow me feature was superb all right now I'm gonna take a picture of uh, RC airport so we're gonna go this way all right and record the video just let me confirm videos recording I'm gonna go forward it's very jerky very shaky video today very good distance I still have a lot of control over quadcopter I still have a live video okay video froze live video is gone okay if you want live video is gone so oh just came back but frozen again so I'm just gonna fly it back I just hope that the video is still being recorded and it surely is I will fly over this belt a little bit yes of course because it's too too noisy here fantastic man let me do my favorite shot <laughs> this is my favorite shot Irish is flying now 
All right, Darish, fly around. Watch it, watch for the fence, okay? I know, I, I'm confident in you. You can control it very nicely. No, you put it in the car, right? It is fast. Do you want me to make it slower? No. Don't fly closer to yourself, okay? Always keep some distance when you're making a pass. And keep enough place to stop, all right? Look, Arish is doing a very nice job. So this quadcopter is basically... Oh, he can make these kind of circles. Man, you're awesome, Arish. Amazing. I mean, this is really beginner friendly. This is really kids friendly. Ah! <laughs> Don't kill me. Turn around, turn around. It's landing by itself? No, I'm landing it. Okay, that's good. What? No, it will not land. You need to press a button. Go higher, go higher. Okay, you need to press this button here, landing button. Yeah. And just press once. Yeah, press once. Okay. Okay, now it's landing, right? See how easy it is. I will teach you to take off also. Hold on. Also, to press this. One moment, one moment. Okay, first, the method, the, the thing about quadcopters, safety first, Arish, okay? So first pick it up and put it away from you. Uh, Head away. Will it open? No, it will not open. Just pick it up. Come over here. Right here. Head that way. Always tail to you. Okay, now back off about three meters. Normally it should be five meters. The press the red button once. This one. Yeah. And press the takeoff button. Then wait. See? It will take off and hold position. Go a little higher. That's the second rule. For beginners, keep it high enough over your head so it will never hit you. And always fly with the distance from you, okay? Keeping a distance from you. Yeah, watch the FPV feed and fly, okay? But you need to fly slowly then. Move forward slowly. Look at the concentration Arish is doing. I love my baby and I'm proud of him. He's doing a very good job. He can fly FPV. Very soon I think he can fly FPV racing quads. You found the key? This is our garage key. Not garage key. It's our uh, key to come to RC airport. Okay, fly away. Backward. Fly backward now. Just push that down. Yeah, fly backward. It's going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, go forward all the way to the trees. You have to turn to the quadcopter, remember, to have good signals, okay? Very good, keep going until you see the trees. You can put the camera up a little. Okay, stop. Video stopped. Do you know where the quadcopter is? You can only come backward. Remember, in front of us, there are trees. I can see the quadcopter very close to the trees. So activate auto return to home. Okay, you, you, know, you know how to fly by FPV. Good job. I can trust you. You can bring it back. Come on. You press auto return to home? Yes. Oh, low battery auto return to home. Okay, leave it. Leave it. It will come itself. It will come back itself. It's called fail safe low voltage auto return to home because the battery is going to finish. So quadcopter wants to come back to you, right? Okay. Now another rule for the quadcopter when quadcopter is landing. Always give enough room and always keep an eye on it, okay? Wow, there's a jet. Oh, there's a jet, right? Yeah. Awesome. So, the quadcopter is coming down. Awesome, man. This is really nice. You like it? Yeah. If you like it, it's yours. Hmm? Can I take a spirit? Okay, you can take it. I need to walk. Okay, it will land and turn off the, I mean, disarm the motors, and then you can pick it. All right, go pick it up, baby. Okay, so here is my verdict. Here is my conclusion about MGX MEW41. I haven't seen the videos yet, honestly speaking. I haven't seen the videos, I haven't seen the pictures. So I'm gonna put the pictures and the videos right here for you to decide what do you think about the video quality and the picture quality. Enjoy this little show.
that you know how good is the video, how good are the pictures, you know the value of the camera and pictures and video shooting qualities on MGX MEW41. However, if you ask me about the flight performance, man, this is absolutely a joy to fly. It's actually that good. Ari simply loves it and he's gonna have it, definitely. I'm just gonna give it to him. Enjoy, people. You know my verdict about this. This is absolutely a joy to fly. Basically, if you ask me about the flight performance, I'll say definitely a two thumbs up quadcopter to fly and have fun with. If you ask me about the camera and video quality, well, you have already, you have already made a decision about that. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the upcoming uploads. I'm going to charge the batteries and bring the quadcopter to shoot some more places, maybe some more videos and pictures. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.